Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Corrine Hills, an equine veterinarian from New Zealand. I'm here today to talk to you about the electrolytes in Prodosa Boost. For those of you who may not have seen my earlier videos, I'll give you a quick summary of Prodosa Boost. It's a complete, balanced, bioavailable, multinutrient paste that I developed for patients in my veterinary practice to fill the gap between good daily nutrition and the increased requirements horses have when they're under stress as a result of hard work, transport, competition, racing, or illness. Cordosa Boost provides water-soluble vitamins, electrolytes, trace minerals, and unassembled amino acids required to support optimal metabolism, performance, recovery, and health. So far, I've been explaining a little about the groups of essential nutrients I've included in Prodosa Boost. Now for the electrolytes. Prodosa Boost includes calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, and chloride. Now sodium, potassium, and chloride are the main electrolytes lost in sweat, but I included 21 and a half grams of electrolytes in a syringe of Prodosa Boost, and I was concerned that had I provided the whole dose in the form of sodium, potassium, and chloride, it would produce a significant osmotic drop. So what that means is, if you put a bunch of salt into the gut, its first effect is to draw fluid from the bloodstream and dehydrate the system in the short term. Over the course of 24 or 48 hours, fluid and electrolytes are rebalanced, but in the short term, dehydration can actually be worsened. I didn't want to take the risk of worsening dehydration in horses that might be traveling and already at risk, or for endurance horses who, in their longer races between loops, might already be a little bit precarious, metabolically speaking. Consequently, I decided to include half of the electrolytes as calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. They're electrolytes, but they don't produce the same degree of osmotic draw, and they also have some other important metabolic functions. Calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus are important in muscle cell function and energy production. And studies have actually demonstrated improved performance in both speed and endurance athletes given calcium in the levels that I have in Prodosa Boost. So the doses of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus I chose reflect what I used to have in the calcium magnesium jug I used to provide as a pre-race treatment, particularly for fillies that had troubles with tying up. For endurance horses, especially if they're racing in very hot and humid conditions, sodium losses can be increased significantly. For those horses, in between loops and the rest holds, I would recommend giving an additional 15 grams, or like a heaped tablespoon, of table salt, which is sodium chloride, in addition to the syringe boost. So I just shake up that tablespoon of, of salt with, a, with water or molasses water in the empty boost syringe and squirt that over the tongue as well. Thanks for watching. For more information about the role of nutrients in Prodosa Boost, look for the next video, Can Prodosa Boost Help With Horses That Tie Up? Prodosa Boost, the most complete and balanced bioavailable multinutrient paste available. See the difference for yourself.